Good afternoon, Grade Ones. Welcome to coding class um, at STEM Digital School. Today is Happy Friday, and it is a very nice and warm Friday here by me. So I hope all of you guys have plans to go play outside the weekend if you have are lucky enough to have a garden or maybe a park close to your house. I hope you have plans to go and play there today or this weekend. You have a whole weekend. And now I also heard that school is not starting on Monday. So you guys have to come to all of the STEM Digital Schools lockdown classes, okay? Then you can just continue to learn and to grow. Right. We are busy with lesson four. Puzzle 11 to 13 is what we will be doing today. And I just want to remind you guys before we carry on to keep your cameras off. Okay, I know that sometimes we have a slip of the finger and you maybe press a button or click something, but just try to keep your cameras off during class, okay? Right, understanding left and right for all of those guys who are new because there are some, some new people. Remember that when something is facing you, his left will change from the one side to the other side if he turns around. So here you can see the boy's left hand, but when he turns around, his left hand is on the other side. So when we go left and when we go right, it depends on where your character is. Okay, now this time I've put in some, um, well, your, your artist character for you. If we look at turning left and we look at this one first, do you see where Laurel is looking? She is looking this way, her eyes are this way. So when we tell her to turn left, she's going to turn up, okay. This one, Laurel is looking this way. So when we tell her, when she faces this way, when she's in your puzzle and she's looking that way and you tell her to turn left, she is going to look down, I mean to turn down. Our next one, the easiest one, is if Laurel is standing with her back towards you, then turn left will be the same as your left hand. Your left and Laurel's left here will be the same. And then here, if Laurel wants to, or if she's facing you and we tell her to turn left, she will be going that way. Okay, now let's look at turn right, the same thing. We're looking at this picture here. If we tell Laurel, if she's looking this way, remember if we tell her to turn left, it's going to be up here. But if we tell her to turn right, she will come down. She will turn down. On the other side, if Laurel is facing this way and we tell her to turn left, I mean to turn right, I'm confusing myself here, then she's going to turn up. This way, this is, this is the easiest one here. Remember, Laurel's left and Laurel's right on that picture is going to be the same as yours. Okay, so if you tell her to turn right, it will be this, the same as your right hand. And then the last one, if Laurel is looking at you, turn right, it's going to be towards this side. Okay. Right, now let's look at puzzle 11. We will also be doing puzzle 10 during class because that was your homework puzzle, but let's do puzzle 11 quickly. It's going to tell you to help Laurel collect all the treasure. So you see with this one, Laurel is going to turn a lot, okay? And now remember, Laurel is facing us. She's looking at us, so let's quickly turn back. When she's looking at us, and we want her to turn this way. Look here. 
this picture here, turn left, we want it to look this way, it's going to be this one. So do you see that? When Laurel goes down, she needs to collect the treasure and then she is going to turn left. Okay, then when she has turned left, she is going to go forward and she has to turn again and she's going to turn right this time. She's going to collect. Okay, so you guys must just remember to use your collect blocks as well. So I'm just waiting. I'm seeing a lot of of the guys are still in the waiting room or entering the waiting room now. So I'm just giving them a chance to all get in. Okay, this is what puzzle 12 looks like. And your instructions will say, look at the code carefully. What will happen when this code runs? Okay, let's quickly see what the code says. The first one says move forward. Okay, so that means Laurel is going to move here. Now, do you see here, our very next block says collect. Now, do you know, guys know if you tell Laurel to collect something, but there's nothing there, your code will stop running. Okay, it's not going to run anymore. It's going to just stop. It will tell you, there's an error, there's a mistake. Our next one, collect as many pieces of treasure as you can to finish this stage. So here's a nice one for you um, to finish. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine diamonds that you can collect. So this one, you can go any way that you want to. If you want to go this path, you can. Okay, you can do that. If you want to rather do it this way, you can do that too. You see there are many different patterns that you can use, right? You could even go this way if you want to start at the top and go all the way down like this. It's up to you. Remember, it doesn't matter if all of our code looks different as long as we get the treasure, as long as we do what our, our um, instructions tell us to do. So it doesn't matter which way you take. Let's code, guys. I'm going to share my other screen with you and I will see you in code.org. This is puzzle 10. I'm quickly going to put it in your chat box for you. There you go. Kanashe, Pusilets is already in, both of you, well done. That was fast. Okay, I'm just going to give you 30 seconds or so, and then we will start. Okay, a lot of you are in already, good. Okay, anyone else? Are all of you there? Okay, let's start. This one was the one I, I told you guys we will, you should have done yesterday. Okay, so let's see who got it right. What does Laurel need to do? I'm going to ask one of you to help me so you have to raise your hand, okay? How can Laurel get these three treasures? Let's ask Aaliyah. 
I'm going to unmute you, Alia. Can you go back to the homework? This one. This one, I think, was the homework one. Yeah. Or do you want me to go to puzzle nine? No, who got, your, who got the star? Oh, I didn't put all your stars in because my internet was a bit slow, so I received the emails very, very late. I'll put them in for you on Monday, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you do your homework, Aaliyah? Yeah. Then I'll put your star in for you, okay? okay. But Aaliyah, can you help me to code this one? Yeah. Okay, what should I do? Yes, that's very clever if you use a repeat block. Mm -hmm. And then? Must put the number, the number supposed to be three. Okay, then I'll put a three. What do I put inside? Put a go for Yes. I can hear your code. You just did it, right? Then you must go forward again. Yes. And then, then you must take, take the diamond. You take the diamond, so we use a collect one. You are right. Okay, and then? And then you must do, uh, then you must take go right. Okay, and then I can run it, right? Now. Okay, let's yeah. run it to see. I got more. More? Okay, let me first see where it goes now and then you can tell me because do you know what? This one is going to get all your treasure. You don't need more. Do you see? This code was enough. So that was very, very good, Elia. You could stop here because remember you put it in a repeat block. So you don't need any more. You can stop when you get the last one. Very, very good job. Well done. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to puzzle 11. Okay. There you go. So let me just make this a bit bigger. Now Laurel has to go down, turn and down, turn. She needs to get two diamonds. Okay. So let's quickly see who can help me to get Laurel to move and to get the diamonds. Samara, I'm going to unmute you. Hi. Tamara, are you there? Yes. Hi, can you help me to code quickly? Yes. Okay, what should I do? Move forward. Okay. Oh, yes, you should put the... Um, you should put the pink one first. The repeat block. The repeat block. Yes. Okay, and then? And move and put two and put two in inside the like that. Yes. Okay. And then yes to turn left. Turn left. Like that. Now remember yes. when you when you are on the diamond you have to do something. So before you turn, oh, yes. you to, do you remember what block do I need? Collect. 
there we go. Can I run it and see what it does? Yes. Okay. Oh, do you oh, know what? You know what? Yeah. This one, she has to turn right. So we cannot move the repeat. So you did a very, very good job with these three, but she's turning two different ways. Here, let's do it step by step. Look here what she's doing. She is moving forward and collect. There she's collecting, now she's turning. Now we have to let her move forward again. And you were right when you said that, you did say that. But look at how she is going to turn the next one. Next one. Okay, you see now we have to let I her turn, now. but not left. She has to turn right this time. That's why we cannot use a repeat block because she's turning two opposite directions. So let's quickly test it. We're going to step, move forward, collect, turn left, move forward, turn right. Okay, Samara, what do we need to do now? Now she's in the right direction. Two more steps. Forward. Yes. Forward and collect. Yes. Very, very good. Very, very good. Let's run it. Perfect. Samara, very excellent job. Well done. Well done. Nice to meet you again. Okay. Right, you guys. I hope all of you got that one right. That was a fun one. And <laughs> look how happy um, our collector is, Laurel. Okay, do you guys remember? Now I'm going to see who was really listening to me when I asked you just this question previously. We have to look at the code very carefully. And then we, you have to tell me what will happen when we um, click on the run button. So I'm going to show you here quickly. It says move forward. Remember I showed you this on, this on the slideshow. And then collect. What's going to happen? I'm going to unmute one of you and you have to tell me, will the program stop or will Laurel get all the treasure? Abongiwe, your hand is up, so I'm going to unmute you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Abongiwe, can you tell me what will happen if we put a collect inside? but there's no, nothing to collect in the block. Will your code work? Yes, ma'am. Will it work? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's quickly see. Oh, I can't test it. I'm just going to choose one, okay? Okay. Let's say, let's say Laurel will collect all the treasure. Now let's run and see what happens. Move forward, collect. Ah, oh, do you see that Laurel stops? Because if we say collect, but there's nothing to pick up. The code will not go. Okay, do you see that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, ma'am. So, okay, so you understand that, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to be late. I'm going to ask you to code something for me, okay? But I'm going to mute you first. Yes, ma'am. Right, you guys. Do you see now that if we say collect, we told Laurel to move forward. And then we said collect, but there's no collect. There's nothing to collect, okay? So um, that will cause an error. The, the program will just stop. It's just going to stop. Okay, so you remember that for next time. If your code just stops, you have to see, did I maybe put a collect in there? But there's nothing in the block to collect. Then you know why it's not working. Oh, yeah, we are getting to the big puzzle now. Abongiwe, I'm going to give you another chance here because you didn't code for me the previous time. So I'm going to unmute you again, okay? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you help me to code this one quickly? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What should I do first? You must put forward three times. I mean, you must put forward once, then collect forward. Ah, okay. Then collect forward, then collect. Forward, collect, forward, collect, forward, collect. Okay, I'm first going to see if that is working. Okay, so let's step it. Forward, collect, 
forward, collect, forward, collect. Okay, so that first row is working perfectly. Well done. Um, okay, guys, I'm just going to give you the link in your chat box again. All of you didn't get in or was maybe just a little bit late. Let me just copy it for you. There you go. Okay, you can also keep this one for later. Right. Okay, so now Abongiwe said, I'm going to mute you again. Thank you for that, Abongiwe. Said we have to move forward, collect, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. And that was perfect. Okay, so we got the first row. Now we have to go to the second row. How are we going to do that? So Bushley, I'm going to unmute you. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. Good. Okay, Bushley, can you help me to move Laurel to go up? Remember now, I'm going to step it for you quickly. We said move forward, collect, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. What do we need to do now? Go left. Turn left. Okay, and then? And, and after you move forward and forward two times. What did you say? Move forward? Mm. You must move forward two times. Two times, okay, and then? Then you go left there, then, um, oh, 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 you must, I uh, forgot to put collect. Aha, very clever thinking there. Move forward, collect, move forward, collect, mm -hmm. right? So let's just first see where are we now, okay, so that everyone can see. There's our first move, move forward, collect, move forward, Collect, move forward, collect, turn left. Move forward, collect, move forward, collect. Okay, Bushle, and where to now? She has to turn again. Now she has to turn. She's standing with her back towards she, you now, okay? She, she needs to turn right. Just remember that she's not looking at you. I know the last picture showed her looking at you, but she's not. She's going to look with, she's going to be with her back. Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. And then? Then, and also move forward. Good. Collect. Yes. The two last moves. Then move forward. Yes. Collect. Very good. Okay, I'm going to run it to see if it's going to work. Okay. There she goes. Collecting everything. She's turning the right way. Aha, very good. Okay, Bushley, we got her all the way there, but I'm going to mute you and thank you very much for that. It was excellent coding. And I'm going to ask someone else to finish the puzzle for us. Okay. Um, let's reset. I only want the last two pieces there. So let's quickly, I'm going to run it for you again. I want you to see just where Laurel is stopping so that you can, Kunasha, I think it's going to be you. Okay, I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Okay, Kunasha, when Laurel is up here, she is looking this way. So where must she turn to go down? Left. Okay, turn left. And then what does she need to do? Then move forward and collect. Move forward and collect. And then there will be one more move. So I'm going to run it quickly so we see where we are now. So far, our code is working perfectly. You guys did a good job all together to code this one. Okay, now she has to turn one more to get it. Do you know which way she has to turn? Right. Let's test it. And I'm going move to forward. Okay. And call it. Okay, but now we have to test it first to see if the turn right is the correct one. So let's quickly okay. step it from the beginning. 
So every step is going to show us what Laurel is doing. Turn Laurel, move forward, collect, move forward, collect, turn left, move forward, collect, move forward, collect, turn left, move forward, collect. Oh, do you see there? This yes. one, she's turning the wrong way. Okay, so how do we fix that? Turn left. Okay, you are right. So we're going to click on this one and say turn left. Okay, so let's quickly run it from the very beginning. There we go. It seems like it's working perfectly. Oh, wow. And that is so many treasure. Well done, Kenosha. Well done to everyone who helped with this one. Kenosha, I just muted you again. Very, very well done to all of you. Now, there are also different ways to, um, to code this one. Now, the way you guys started was to go this way and then up, this way, then down and to get this one. Now, I want to try another one where we use different code, a different pattern. Okay, maybe this way, like a snake. So, let's see and then we will end off with that. Let's see who can start over but not the same pattern and a different pattern. So, Huawei, I'm going to unmute you. Hi. Hello. Hello, Mary. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Can you quickly help me to code this one again? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What should I do first? Um, go forward. Yes. And then? Go um, right. Before we turn, remember, if you're on a block, standing on a block, you have to do something else before we turn. Collect. Very Collect. good. Good. Okay, now you say turn which way? Right. Turn right. Okay, and our next move? Collect. Before we collect, we need to move first. Because look at what she's doing now. She's moving forward, collect, turn right. Oh, we turn right, we turn the wrong way. Do you see? She's looking at us. Okay, so I'm going to change this one to turn left. And remember, then she has to move forward before you can collect. So let's step it again. Move forward, collect. Turn left, move forward. Okay, what does she need to do when she's on that diamond now? Collect. Very good, collect. Good job. And then she will be collecting this one. Where does she need to go next? Move forward. Very good. Yes, so she will be standing on this diamond. What does she need to do now? Collect. Very good. Okay, I'm going to just give you that part of the code to write. So thank you so much. You did a fantastic job. Let's quickly see how it runs. Then I'm going to ask someone else to continue. But very, very well done. Okay. Now you guys, she is up here, but she's standing with her back towards us. Okay. So Laurel needs to turn now. So who has not had a chance here? Okay, Aliyah, I'm going to unmute you again. Okay, Aliyah, are you there? Yeah. Okay, so if Laurel is up here, but she's standing with her back towards you, which side does she need to turn? She needs to turn right. Very good. And after she has turned right, what does she need to do? Collect. She's already collected that one, so she first needs to move Go forward. forward. Aha, mm -hmm. very good. And collect, very good. Then she will be standing on this one. What does she need to do next? Go forward and collect. Very good. Move forward and collect. Alia, I'm going to run it, but I'm going to mute you first. And then I'll ask Kunashe or whose other hands 
Kenosha and Abungiwe to finish this one for us, okay? But very, very well done to the two of you who are coding already. There she goes. Now she needs to turn again, okay? So Kenosha, I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Okay, if she's up here and she's looking yeah. this way, where does she need to turn? Mm. Yes, to move forward. Just before we move forward, let, let me just show you where we are. Look here, she's going this way, up, up, she's turning, she's getting this one and getting this one. So if you move forward, she's going to go one more block. So here, she needs to turn. So we are going to put a turn block first, okay? So which way does she need to turn if she wants to go down? Do you know? Mm, okay. She okay. has to move right. Very good. And then when she's turned right, what does she do then? Move forward. Good. And after she's moved forward? Collect. Well done. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Very well done, Kunashe. I'm going to quickly play it for you. And then Abongiwe can do the very last part for us quickly. There she goes. Aha. So we need her to move forward one more time. I'm going to do that for you. And to collect. That means she will be on this block now. Okay, so Abungiwe, I'm going to unmute you. Hi, are you there? Abungiwe, there's no sound. Okay, it's okay, guys. I see we're running out of time. So I'm just going to help you to code the very last lines. If Laurel is looking at us and she needs to turn this way, She's going to turn left, ah, oh, turn right, sorry. Let's quickly run and see where she is now. Okay, you see she's turning the right way. So we are going to say move forward and collect. And then she's going to turn right again to get the very last one and move forward and collect. So let's quickly run it again and see if she can do the whole code. She's doing, and you guys did well because you coded a different path this time. And fantastic, we did it. I'm so very proud of you guys. Okay, we are not going to go further with this one. I'm going to share my other screen with you. You guys really, really did a fantastic job. Okay, puzzle 11 is the one you can do for homework. And then you can send your code to me after you take a picture. There is my email address. Navar, were you asking me how you can code, but you were just coding with me now. Remember for next time, you can click on the link and it will open a window for you where you can code yourself, okay? Thank you so much for joining me, guys. It's always a pleasure coding with you. Enjoy your weekend and I will see all of you back here um, on Monday. Okay, wait, well, the link is not opening for you. Okay, let's try it again on Monday morning. And if it doesn't work, stop me sooner, okay? Otherwise, you can just follow my screen and I will show you how you can make your own profile if your mommy and daddy can help you to make your own profile on code.org. Then you can code anytime you want. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye-bye.